one of my best comeback games yet. And this is a three minute game. And now that they have, uh, that was a mistake there. He's getting ready to pin my knight to the king, so. I'm right here, he's pinning him, so I'm going to get rid of that by moving over. And so before I take him, I want to put him in check and remove my knight from danger. So I take him, and this is where the game's over, because he made a fateful mistake right here, or fatal, I should say. Because right here, I get him in double check. And then he moves. And then it takes me a while. I'm trying to figure out what the next best move is. You know, do I want to move him back over here, put him in check? Do I want to move up here, put him in check? That doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, do I want to move him here and then prevent? Well, I already got him from coming over there. Uh, I've got the rook that's going to come up. If I move him over here, I put him in check, then I can grab the queen. Uh, he goes there, and if the knight goes there, I can grab the queen. And then you know, he could go back, or I'd probably just take him there, and then I'd go back up there as a check. Uh, so I could plow through all this guy's players, but then it occurs to me, I've got one move checkmate. And probably something he didn't anticipate, because he didn't see the double check. And that is just a powerful discovery check with the queen, and a check with the knight. And that forces the king to have to move, because you can't eliminate both threats. So he has to move away. He couldn't go here. He had two squares to go to. If he would have gone here, I just would have checked. That would have moved him over one more. And then with the rook lined up in this column, I can just move the queen over, and that would have put him in checkmate. So either way, he was done for. That was a great comeback game after he started annihilating my side.